Hello everyone, welcome back to CLGTR channel. Today, I will continue the series to teach you guys how to draw an anime character, and this time will be a female. To start the color step, I will create another layer. This layer will be under on the layers later, and have a dark color. So later, if I have any light color, I will easy to check if I miss any place. Then I create a layer that will be for the skin tone. For some place, I will use the pen to connect on the light, so I will make a mess to the background. And on other parts, I just use the bucket tool increase the expand to one pixel, so it won't leave a white line. After you fill all of the place of the skin tone. I will use the pen tool, so I will draw some missing place that the bucket tool cannot reach. I also paint on the skin color in the dress, the hair, and also a little bit in the arms. Why I did that? Because I want to the effect that makes she look sexy later. I just go with the base color first. When I done with the skin tone, I create another layer and turn up the skin tone for easy to see then I pick another color that will be a little bit brown for the hair when I use the bucket tone I see that the color is not right what I want to so I use the huge cell rotation box the filter box in here to change the color a little bit you can access the filter box by dragging the mouse to the top of the menu bank so the menus will appear choose the filter then choose hue for changing the colors or you can simply hold control or command with U Then, just the same as skin tone, I will use the pen tool to pen on the place that I miss it and the bucket tool cannot reach. Now I will show you why I pen the skin tone over the head before. I will choose the airbrush and then I pick the transparent box in the view color, increase the airbrush a little bit and Remember to choose Protect On file for the layer of the hair. Just line it and drag the brush over the hair at the bang like this. So you can see that the color at the bang is decreased a little bit. Later when you do the shadow, it will give a cool effect that will make her look a little bit sexy. The same for the dress, I create another layer and decide that she will wear a black dress it's not really the black you should not go in to choose the real black maybe it can be a black purple or black blue yeah depend on your choice you can go to choose the hue cell rotation box again to change to the color that you like and then go back to the normal work you will do Use the pen tool to draw on the place that you missed. The simple will be the best, so the same for the scarf and the shoes. It will all be black, same as for her choker.
Now I choose Protect Alpha for the dress and style again the work that I did for the hair. Choose airbrush, increase the size, choose transparency in color box, and then slightly put the brush in some place that the clothes is connected with the skin. You can see that the effect that makes her look a little bit sexy now. The base colors is done, so I go back to the skin tone for starting the details. I create a layer 10, you can see that above the layer 7, that is the skin tone layer, then I choose clipping. With that, I can paint another color in skin tone but with separate layer and won't make a mess into the background or another part of the character. I pick a color with a little bit orange and yellow, then a little bit red and use the airbrush slightly drag around her chin and her neck same way for elbow and fingertips with that she will look a little bit more lively and have a little 3d effect when it's done i choose watercolor brush this is my favorite shadowing brush and i choose a little bit dark red but still have a little bit orange in this for the shadow now i use the brush and pen around the place that i think that the shadow will appear here you don't need to make it look perfect at the beginning you will have a lot of work later for blending and mixing just give a good look at first and you will know where the shadow will go when you are done with the first look of the shadow now I choose the watercolor with wet in here for blending and mixing. Watercolor wet will work like mix up two color together and give out another result. So I pick a base color and start to blending from outside to inside of the shadow color. In some place, I also use watercolor and then I pick the skin tone and paint on over the shadow. I already talked a little bit about where to place the shadow in the previous lesson. You can find them in the playlist or you can maybe will continue to watch in the future. I will have another clip that will talk clearly about this part. This style don't have too much gradient look because it's kinda like self shading, so you don't have to bother much about the changing colors here. I always love to use the transparent box instead of using the eraser, so it will have more effect on this. I will talk more about how to blending like this later in another video. Sometimes I also choose airbrush and pick the transparent box to erase some part and make it look a little bit gradient. The color that I blending before is kind of pale, so I decide to add more color and then I choose filter box hue saturation again to change the color to make her look more lively. I use the airbrush and watercolor mix them together a little bit to paint her lips. Now I go with the hair, I create another layer for painting shadow of the hair. The hair I choose this style is really quick when you get used to it. After you create the clipping mask, you pick the shadow color for the hair, paint all over the hair 
and then go back to the transparent box in the color wheel use it to erase the part that you think that the shadow cannot appear in here and instead of that it will be the light Then I create another layer and choose clipping again to the hair base color. I will pick the light color for make her hair shiny. And now I create the layer 14, this one is for the eyes. I will turn off the skin color layer so you can see it clearly. Next I create the layers 15 and 16. Both of them will choose clipping. The layer 16 will choose blending is multiply and I can create the shadow. The layer 15, I will paint the color of the pupil. Now I will turn on the skin layer again to see the whole look of the character. I use pen tool to draw some place that I still miss. And the same for the clothes layer, I always choose watercolor wax and airbrush and pick transparent box for erase the part that I don't want it to be. It will give you more effect than you use the eraser. Her clothes is kinda floating and wrapping around her body so make sure to draw the fold that is going flowing with her body. I remember that I still didn't paint anything for the accessory so I create another layer and do the same work as another color layer when the accessories layer is done I go back to the clothes layer and then create another layer on top that will be the layer 19 I choose the blending is add and with that I will create something shiny on her clothes. I choose sparkle brush and start to brush around the clothes. After I paint around it, I choose hue and saturation again to change it to the color that I satisfies to make it look more obvious. So I duplicate the layer and rotate it a little bit with transform. Look like we are nearly done. I create the layer 21 that will be the shining layer. So I choose blending is add for making everything is shining, include the shine in her eyes. And then I create the layer 22. 
this layer will be the shadow under her foot. Another layer is layer 23. This one will be clipping to the light work layer. This is layer 5. So with this clipping, you can pick the color and then pan around the light to change the color of the light work. So to have a little bit more effect, and that's it, a trick that I always did for making her stunning that I will create another layer on top all of the layer below and choose blending lighten then I pick a light blue or light purple use airbrush and slightly drag around the place like hair and the holes under the arms like this so just like there is some plus behind her make her look more gorgeous and you're done this is the pictures that i draw about the female character so after two lessons lesson one and lesson two you will know the basic that i always did when i draw about the male and female character now the next lesson will be going to the details and i will try my best to explain that you can understand how to draw eyes, head, everything else when you draw an anime character. Please subscribe and please comment below if you have any questions for me. Thank you. Goodbye.